Making some more progress down. There's even a ruin here that I could take a look at. I don't need any more Gimmigul, so... I should probably actually sell some Gimmigul coins, because that way I can actually just earn more money from that. Also, that red candy reminds me what I was going to do. And I remember... I actually have a fair bit of XP candy now. Look at all that. Power gem. It's a rock type move. 80 power, 100 accuracy. User attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Get rid of confused ray for that, probably. Although, metal sound. Lowers, harshly lowers the target's special defense. I, I mean, that could be good. I definitely don't need confused ray, I don't think, so I'm going to get rid of that. That's done. Make it rain. Which is a metal type move. 120 power. 100 accuracy. It's a special move. User attacks by throwing a mass of coins. This also lowers the user's special attack stat. Money is earned after the battle. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Golden, Golden Go just got heaps better. Let me check summary so I can arrange the moves a little bit better. Of course we can remember, remember moves. Uh, change, change moves. Why can't I move the moves? Rearrange moves, why? That's weird that I have to press that. It says A to change moves, but that's just remembering and forgetting moves. Or using TMs to learn moves. But yeah, I thought, yeah, it's fine. If you, if you understand, you probably understand, so. Oh, that's pretty good stuff right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep recover, but this is still pretty good. As a starting point, so. Golden Go is just so cool. So good. Overheat TM. Also, what, didn't I just see an item here? Am I crazy? I saw something here. What? My, 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 my poor brain. What's going on? I'm pretty sure I caught one of you already, didn't I? Yeah, I already caught a Hylucha. Just go across here again. I'm definitely ready for whatever the next gym or thing is. The next gym and the next two Team Star bases. I'm I'm so ready to go. There's one right there, so I guess I can do that now, probably. I'm just gonna check this. Been having some nice battles. Are you winning, son? Zero 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 trainers here in area three of the North Pro Need four to get a lovely prize, okay. I'd like to sell, thank you. Uh here. Wait, why is the The gimmick coin goes down to zero when I guess? I didn't think it did that. Interesting. I have I have I thought I could I thought they didn't go away when you evolved them. It didn't say that they went away, I don't think, so. Yeah, so I should have been checking all the gimmick that I saw. I should have even battled that other one that I saw. Where's the gimmick I can hear it, but I cannot see it. I imagine it's on top or something. Yeah, there it is. It sounded like it was on top. I don't know how I could tell it was by sound, but you know. It's fine. Anyway. Let's look at like... That was me trying to speak. All those... There's sound. <laughs> All the sounds was me trying to speak. Uh, fairy. I don't know what's effective against fairy, but I can check the Google. I should probably be Googling more. What's effective against fairy? The answer is... Poison and steel. Okay. Well, I have steel covered by a gimmigal then. Or a golden go. And we have room. And poison I don't really have. Except that also rev of room. Rev of room is actually perfect for this. And I guess I'll just take whatever. My team's all leveled anyway, so I sh don't, don't even have to worry. So, I'm just gonna grab that. No, don't talk to the Pokemon. I didn't mean to say hello. All I meant to say was goodbye. Was, was that something in the ocean? No, it's just the reflections. Okay.
Jeremy. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Jeremy. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Uh... They're a bag of riddles. <laughs> that sounds so that sounds so bad. It sounds so wrong. They're doing the right thing. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Like you wouldn't. Why, why wouldn't you? I don't know. We're over leveled, so I wouldn't imagine we wouldn't do it. So I guess that train is going to have to wait. So, that's fine. Whilst I'm walking. It's weird, walking. <laughs> for the first time in ages, I heard the gimme go. I will return later when it's time for the young master piano master's piano lesson. Until then, please give him my regards. Y yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm? And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure. Ah, I see. Since you seem aware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fi fairy crew. <laughs> fairy crew. Fairy crew. The Rockback Rockbar squad, led by young Master Ortega. Ah, uh, Mr. Harrington, I don't think you are supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any ideas, idea as to who this young man might be? He's no friend of ours, I, you know? I think he might be here to t try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an ad adversary of the young master. Uh, I guess that follows. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure, why not? Splendid, then, then let's let us begin. I'm not gonna have the type advantage, am I? They they knew that you were gonna try and have the type advantage. More Grim? I haven't even seen this Pokemon. Make it rain. Oh, that does that! Cool. Coins were scattered everywhere. Golden Ghost special attack fell. Oh wait, that was them dying, not me dying. I thought that was me dying. It's fine. That was really cool though. About to send in Hatram. Will you change Pokemon? No, I'm good. I only have five power points on this move, but it's really good, so. I think it'll recharge once we fight the base, so. Pretty sure I've done the other move, but that's okay. Coins were scattered everywhere. My special attack's falling when I do that, so I should probably be careful how much I do that. It's fine. Do I have something to raise my special attack with one of my moves? It's a good question. Lower special attack, yes. Of the user. Uh, target special defense, that goes down with Shadow Ball. And that's about it. Just gonna use Shadow Ball. So I need to be careful when using Make It Rain. It's, it's, it has its advantage, but it also has its disadvantage. It's actually a lot more well balanced than I thought it was. Hey, we won. Money? How much money do I get? <laughs> That's all I care about, <laughs> apparently. Well, well. 2,548. And picked up an extra 580, okay. So it wasn't incredible, but it, it, it will probably add up. An outstanding performance. However, be aware that young Master Ortigas Battle prowess far surpasses my poultry skills. You would do well to take care. It's take care, not take chair. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista. Wait, did that... Did, did, he, did, the, did the text say it was a grunt? Because I don't think that was... The, what? I don't know. Or maybe that was the 
Grant saying that to, to him or something, I don't know. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least, that's what I heard. Now he's, like, tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everybody know. Hasta la vista! I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew. The... Rukba squad. Their boss, Ortiga. He's the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you very very quickly. He's also a real... Le lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up, and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Ruckbus squad off the map. Code red, code red, Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without without the boss's help. As you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Well, I think that's probably gonna be fine. Oh wait, why am I, why am I? I'm not talking over the, the speak, speaker thing. It's fine. I'll, I'll just get out. I'll leave this room now and go back to the Pokemon. Man, that, that, that room's far away from here. I don't know why they have that room so far from the entrance, but they do. Anyway, let's fight some Pokemon. Also, the slowdown is real. R the real, real. The realest of slowdowns. Why, is it, why am I struggling to get my Pokemon to fight the things I'm trying to get them to fight? I don't know. Anyway, this seems like easier than <laughs> the other ones. To be honest, I have 10 minutes to do this, but that's plenty of time. I don't even need to fight all of these, but I can, and it'll make the thing go by much faster, probably. The game's struggling to keep up with me, basically. Kind of, please. That's a lot of Pokemon. It is kind of cool, like, doing this. It feels better than... Uh, at this point in the game than earlier in the game for some reason. I don't know why. I would have thought the opposite would be true. So where are the Pokemon? There are some Pokemon. Let's just keep up with this. Making our way to the back. Deep into the base. Are there any Pokemon? There's a... some Mimikyu. And we're done here. Cool. That worked out really well. Finish! With 31 out of 30. 32 out of 30. It's pretty good. Our defenses are... Oh, hang on. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. I'm doing it slightly differently from the other one. It's been a while since we've last done a... Done a did a Team Star base. Wow. We haven't done one since the, the last time I did that. Boss of Team Star's Fairy Crew, Ortega. Huh, so you're Jeremy. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. I think fairy types are all about cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. Cue the epic music. We 
Man, it's been too long since I last heard this. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Okay. <sighs> Hang on. Ah, oh, that's shut. That's if you if it was steel tr if that I trespassed into, that'd be great. Uh, although that's not gonna help me going to go. So I'm just gonna stick with this for the moment. Make it rain. Just to start out. I can't do it too much. Because my special attack is going to fall too much. I probably should have saved it for the last part. Oopsie, did you just realize how matched you are? If you want to give up, now there's time. Now's the time. Okay, well, I'm just going to do something else then. I can lower the special, the target, the target special defense, so I'm going to do that a bit more. But I probably need to wait for the next Pokemon because this one's about to go down and then I'm going to, it's not going to have any status effects on it, so. You know what I mean. How many Pokemon are there? Uh, duck, Duckspun? Is that what that's saying to me? No, it's... I don't, I don't, I don't know. D d Dushbun, bun. I don't know. Now, I don't know what type it is, but I don't think it's that incredible. Let me just use this one. Ow, that's super effective against me. Power Jam. Interesting. Might be beneficial to switch Pokemon. Go Rev of Room. Okay. Gonna try Poison Jab. Baby Doll Eyes. Rev of Room's attack fell. About to send him wiggly tough. I'm just enjoying the music right now. It's been a while. I think I'm gonna stick with this for the moment. We should be good for a little bit. Two more Pokemon. Well, one more Pokemon. <laughs> Sent out River of Room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair! And this is fair? Well, so that's just a rev of room, apparently. Uh, I think Poison Jab is the best option I have, except for Spin Out. Steel Roller. Also, is this a... a fairy rev of room? Is that what this game is trying to tell me? Is that how this works? I guess so. The Starmobile. With base. Confuse Ray. Interesting. I wish I could have that. <laughs> I wish I could have a Starmobile. It looks so big. Okay, we're doing good. We're lowering our own speed, but that's okay. It's already got a high speed to begin with, so... And we're about to win anyway, so we should be fine. It's interesting that this is where the lighthouse is. I wouldn't have expected that. But it is what it is, so... Hurt itself in confusion, that's not great. Come on. Stamped out of confusion. I think that should be done. Not quite, almost. Just need one more hit. I don't think they can heal, but maybe they can. No, they're not going to heal. Good. Remember that first Team Star base that we did? I struggled so much and I had to heal all the time just, just to make, make my way through. Good times. Hurt self in confusion, of course. Magical talk. Confused. You spin out. There we go.
Ah, how could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Oh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem's clearly, you're, you're, we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two... Chug it. Chug it. But it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see how see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius. Thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is, the, is there? If I knew all that effort would have would have would have zero payout I'd have just asked mother to buy a car for us see this is why people don't take you seriously you say some stupid things you know that what Mela cool it would you yeah how about no I mean we even put this in the code for crying out loud when we started team star we swore to quit relying in our on our parents, t or bags. Bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm gonna train up my Chuckadet and have him evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. But the hour of Operation Starfall is not at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to, to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I had any choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect, respect it deserves. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. TM0789. Or nine. That one. Dazzling Gleam. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong, I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortiga. Mr. Harrington! I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title. So I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me... Brought me. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. He's a... Distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family, and heir to the, a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I, I was being bullied. So the Academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? 
As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best for positions to answer that question. Mr. Harrington? Well, Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. And uh, an acceler- an alter- an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not e escalate into a major incident, the al altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But why aren't there any records of that anywhere in the academy? No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to me, came to see me. This student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from, from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary uh, plenary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. This was not the intended. This was not intended as a punishment. You understand? Team Star were all were the victims after all. I wanted this student to take some time to, to rest. So I had them return home to the Gala region, under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former, former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the never inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handling in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have uh, my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Ma Master Ortega. Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must have... must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's cuz, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. This is getting interesting. Jeremy, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. I see. With its boss no longer around, the Ruckbar squad is good as, as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We are almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success, thanks to you, Jeremy. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances have you known each other long? Uh, yeah, for a while now. It kind of has been a while. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He's almost, he almost reminds me of, a, of the gang back in the day. Uh, w which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head-on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. 
They could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all got bol bolted from. They all bolted from the battle. The first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bull bullies then dropped out of school, one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Nice. 10,000. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the rem last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you the bonus reward. Um, here I am. Gah! Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Ah! Wow. Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. These students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculous, miraculously work out. I, I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Received lots of Pokemon materials. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Jeremy. Well, with that... We've done another Team Star base. And now we can actually explore this area a bit more. But it's getting very interesting. Also, there's some sun floor here we could actually catch. <laughs> there's probably some bunch of stuff we could catch here. There's still so much through this world to explore and so many interesting things to learn and see. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.